ones for Alex, and we're all for Barry. Anyways, today we are going to do a story video on story embarrassing time. and crazy weird stories of randomness. So, I'm going to go first. The time I puked on my aunt, I was like four, and she was pushing me a swing, and all of a sudden, because we had ate hot dogs before that, and all of a sudden, it was all over. This weirdo wants to ooh, and I'm like, no. no. <laughs> Okay, oh god. Just okay. Put it in the okay, so the first it is the third grade jump rope incident. And so I had this crush on a guy when I was in third grade or fourth grade, I don't know. I think it was third grade. And uh back then when you like someone, you you don't back then? Yeah, back then <laughs> when you like someone, you're not nice to them. Of course you're mean to them. Yeah. Like a jump rope handle was broken off and I threw it at him. <laughs> And he started crying, and apparently he was on crying. Okay, next story. <laughs> All right, so the time I got pierced. No piercings, nothing. I got my ears pierced. I was like, she's born, and my parents were like, let's go get her ears pierced so she doesn't whine when she's older because she wants her ears pierced. So that's why this happened. I got my ears pierced when I was like four months old. But anyways, the next is, this is kind of like a funny story. It's called Halloween. <laughs> And I when, knows about it. when I was in kindergarten, I wanted to be a cupcake for Halloween. So I had a ginormous cupcake costume, which was awesome. And walking upstairs was not convenient. I would basically roll back down the stairs. I was like, ah, too lazy to walk. Anyway, that's, that's how it went down. It was terrible. And I think I fell. Anyways, next story. <clears throat> the time I chopped off my pinky, half my pinky off. It sounds gross, but it happened. Well, that's not half, that's like a quarter. But we were at my grandma, my aunt's mom's house, and we were just sitting around talking, and me and my brother, my older brother, walked outside, and we started to play. I was like five. And um, so we tried to keep the dogs inside and us go out, and my brother <clears throat> shut the door so the dogs couldn't go out, and my pinky, I was like trying to open up the door, but like I'll use my pinky, I don't know why. And I like pushed it, but my finger went into like the end of the door, and my brother slammed the door shut, and there goes my pinky. Well, this isn't really one of my stories, but my sister slammed my pinky in a car door once. Anyways, oh, my mom slammed my brother's whole hand into the Jeep door, and the door was closed, and his hand was just sticking out. <laughs> that is bad. Okay, next story. It is about my piercing. <laughs> so I got this like eight days ago. And I was like, hey, mom, can I get a lip piercing? But I was, a lip piercing, don't judge me. <laughs> and uh, I, I was just joking around, but then I thought we were going to the clothing store place. But she took me to a piercing place, and I went in, and I was so nervous. And I was like, oh, my God, they're putting a hole through my lip. And then she sat me down. This is literally what happened. Literally. Literally. She literally sat me down okay. in a big okay. literally. in a big red seat that was scary. It was like a clown nightmare. Doctor. And Doctor. she laid me down and she's like, Let me clean your lip, young lady and then she puts rubbing alcohol, smothers it my lip in rubbing alcohol and then she's like, I'm just gonna get my hands ready. That sounds wrong. But she put but she washes them and puts on gloves and then she's like, Okay, take a deep breath. <sighs> ah! Actually I didn't do that, barely hurt. But anyways, it's doing pretty good. My lip. Say hi, Lip. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that is my piercing story. Your turn. I got these when I was like four months old, these piercings. They aren't real gauges. They're just the fake ones. Earrings. They're like mine, but I don't like gauges. Okay, so the time I got my dog, I was in third grade, and we had like gone to school, and my ex-best friend was with me, and she knew about it before I did. And then I walked home with her because we got a ride from her mom. Yeah. And then, um, then we went and we went to the house. And I just said we went. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and when we got home, there was like a dog sitting in the middle of the floor. I was like, that's a puppy or is that fake? I ran over and the dog started like wagging it. So I was like, yes! I literally ran around the dog like four times. I'm not even joking. I remember this story quite well. Quite. I do not fancy you. Okay, fun. That's what they say. Okay, whatever. Um, this story is called vomit. It was in, it was in first grade, and I fell asleep in class because I wasn't feeling good, and that's like what they do because they're awesome teachers. And when it was lunchtime, one of my classmates woke me up, and we walked to the lunchroom, and I got my food, and I was about to 
put in my ID number to get my food, and I was like third in line, and then right before I got to punch in my number, bleh, all over my food and my sweater sleeves. At least I got to go home. Anyways, uh, next story. <laughs> okay, my last story for today, well, our last story for today, um, time I fractured my toe. I was doing a carpet on this carpet. It's actually right here, right now. The devil carpet is in this room. And uh, <clears throat> it's like shaggy, kind of. And like some of them are like knotted together. But I was doing a cartwheel. And my foot got stuck behind because my big toe got stuck in one of the knots. And I kept jumping to try and get my foot up. And I got my foot out, but it ripped up. And you heard like the bone just like, you heard like something crack. It was so nasty. So I went to the doctors and like, it was fresh. There's a high chance that it doesn't sound like. No, it doesn't. <laughs> It sounds like paper. Okay, next. Because it is paper. This is my last story for today. But and it's when I got obsessed with anime. Oh. And this oh. was, I don't know if it was one, no, it was like two years ago. And my cousin, she's like 17 now. She was sitting on the couch on her laptop watching Fairy Tale, which is like a really good anime. And I was like, oh my goodness. Why would you do that? That's so intense. Oh, how romantic. Please kiss now. Okay, but like I know all the names. Like, oh. Name them. Well, like in the best fairy tale guild, there's Lucy, Grey, Natsu, Happy, and Urza. She was just watching that last night on that show bed, and like, on the TV, I was like watching a really loud show, and she was like, "Can you turn that down?" Or You're stop ruining it? the intensifying awesomeness. But I was like editing videos for her, so yeah. And then your mom burnt another. I went on Netflix and started watching it. Good. You guys have no life. Hey. <laughs> yeah, same That's the worst here. father ever. You want to? Thank you so much for watching. You did enjoy that. I hope you didn't. Well, bye. High five.